Shalom, all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone by Shem Rakakwadash. My name is Yakaba from Plain Tables Camp of Philly. You know, many people have forgotten the fear of the Lord. They think it's sweet, think everything's going to be okay, but it's not if you're not on the Lord's good side, on Yahweh and his sons, Yahweh Shah's good side. And women in particular, they have the, uh, the luxury of, of being ignorant and not. Uh, be really being afraid right? because the, the thug guy the big diesel guy is not going to be there to save them they, they're going to be ones that's going to be uh, doing uh, things against them and if you know women and the men if they if y'all don't get right you got total destruction coming to you all right this is uh, deuteronomy thirty-one, twelve. gather the people together men and women and children and the stranger that is within thy gates you know, uh, that they so roll around, may hear and that they may learn and fear Yahweh your God and observe to do all the words of the law all right and that's what it's about to the uh, to learn what the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is and, and to do it to be obedient all right now we're not under the law meaning to force I mean we had one under grace so within that grace we keep certain laws such as dietary uh, certain holy days uh, going out and preaching uh, being in order amongst each other it's about observing Yahweh Shai's law all right what he wants us to do what his will is all right, and if you're not if you're not doing that, then you have uh, the martial law, the famines, the different drugs programs Esau has set up for you. Going to succumb to that. Right. That the children, that their children which have not known anything, and that's what the the disease that our people are suffering from. They don't know the Lord. They think that they got power with the Lord, and they're not even in, in, under any godly leadership whatsoever. All right? Any leadership that has the name of the Father Yahweh and the Son Yahweh Shai. That knows the, the prophecies. That knows the scriptures. So you can't call yourself informed or righteous. You know, in the biblical sense. The, the righteous that we, that we can't obtain. If you're not under any, any sort of leadership. If you don't have these prophecies within you. Right. If, you, if you don't believe them, if you're not following and gearing your life to, to, toward uh, them coming to their full to, uh, fruition, we right. the, got the martial law coming to uh, implant men's hearts failing them for fear. If a man's heart failing them for fear, how, how much more destroyed a woman's mind is going to be for fear? His heart means your mind, right. your heart rate, right. terror. Right. Learn to fear the power as long as you live in the land whether whether you go over Jordan to possess it. Right. So I think we have next you know put some uh you know an emphasis on how women you know were treated and when we get back to those times, periods in the time of martial law, they're gonna be treated exactly like this. This and worse. Deuteronomy twentieth chapter. Right. And this is what we did to the other nations. So don't you think the Esau want re revenge? The other nations want revenge? Of course. The uh, this is a normal practice when you went to war with another nation. All right, you killed the men, and you abducted the women. Deuteronomy twenty. Let me get to the point. Twenty and fourteen. But the women. I mean thirteen. And when Yahweh thy God hath delivered it unto thine hands. Thus I'll smite every male thereof with the edge of the sword. Now you look up the uh, history of, in Italy, what our ancestors did to those Edomites that were in Italy, in Italia. That's exactly what they did. They smit the men with the edge of the sword, and they took the women. All right. But the women and the little ones and the cattle and all that is in the city, even all the spoil thereof, shalt thou take unto thyself. And thus of eat the spoil of thy, of thy enemies, which Yahweh thy God hath given thee. Right? And that's exactly what 
the troops are going to do to the women. They're going to kill you. They're going to murder you, your husband. They're going to murder the thug, thuggo, thug guy, the big strong guy. They're going to put his ass to death. All right. They're going to mangle him. He's going to come out with his pants hanging off his ass. They're going to they're going to pepper his ass up. All right. Another guy can come up talking shit. Don't, don't, don't. That's a woman. And he gonna get his jaw smacked in with the butt of the M16 rifle. All right. The guy that goes to the Planet Fitness uh, three, three, four days a week. Yeah, he gonna get that. All right. Uh, says, but the women and the little ones and the cattle, the assault and the cattle and all that is in the city, even all the spoil thereof, thus are taken to thyself. All right. It's going to be a lot of uh, tension released in a lower area into these women. All right. Because they are not covered. Because they believe they got it all figured out. They believe Jesus is their husband. Or oh, you got a rude awakening. You got a rude awakening. I already saw, I seen the vision. I had, I had, I had the vision. I had the, the women from the tribes begging me to learn the commandments. Yeah, it was Judah, Ephraim, and Gad, Bagan. That makes up the, the whole, all of Israel right there. Bagan to learn the commandments. Those exact words. Teach teach me the commandments. All right. So, so you, you ain't going to get it on your own. Let's see, 21. It says uh, Luke 21, 26. Men's hearts failing them for fear. And for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven uh, shall be shaken. All right? And when you leave this earth, you're going to go into the spirit world. All right? And now you're going to learn the truth, since you didn't want to get it here. All right? The spirit world is another building, not flesh. But you no, know, you can describe it as pure energy. All right, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. All right, Man, I think I have fear here. We got uh, men's failing, failing for fear. Aposuke, aposuko. All right, and this is what your government's going to do. Your government's going to do real bad things to you. All right. And do real bad things to those 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 tough men, those tough guys, the Tupac Shakur's types, right, the big swole dude type. He got high. He, he apparently has high testosterone and and a, and a, and, a, and a full full of fucking stupidity and, and, and highly emotional and can't control himself. All right. He gonna meet the fate of New World Order troops. To breathe out life, ex to expire. Right. To breathe out, for example, faint uh, hearts failing. Right. It's not going to be no more. Well, hold on. Uh, let's see. This, this is Elder Apostles video of the Gabar, and I will make a man more precious than fine gold. The table will turn against feminism. All right. Because, you know, the women, they believe that everything is about them. They want to equal. All right. You're going to meet uh, hell real quick. With that, with that attitude. And because, you know, Elder was going into, you know, we live in a metropolis. So cities were built for, the, for women. And they want to be equal. Well, if you, if you want to be equal, you don't deserve a husband. You deserve everything you get. You deserve every every evil that's going to come upon this land and, and land around the world. All right? And they're going to show you how equal you are. Those martial law troops going to show you what equal is. All right. You thug, you thug dudes. They're going they're going to show you how tough you really are. All right, when you meet the, the butt of the M16 rifle. Elder Apostle uh, Tahar, he did uh, on his channel, he says you black women have no power at all. It's really all you women. But, you know, the black woman, she's the most proud, so she's the archetype 
the uh, for all the rest of the women, what they aspire to be. All right. Now, we have here ten of the most important qualities women look for in a in a guy. It's, it's published by uh, some black women too. Wow, by uh, Alexis Jones, August seventeenth, twenty eighteen. So maybe there's an update. What what they want? They want chemistry. I ain't reading this shit. Uh, they want uh, vulnerability, uh, stability, equality. I can hear him right now. What's wrong with that? Okay. Uh, what else we got? Uh, awareness. They want you to be, you know, emotional intelligence. They want you to be. Um, of course, they have their own interpretation of what that what that means. They get it wrong every time. They they don't know what emotional intelligence really is. Just gotta look it up. All right. But when they make these definitions, they just, they just mean what they want it, want it to mean. Uh, awareness, emotional presence. All they want you to be, you know, show that you care. You know, show that you care. Curiosity about her. <laughs> and I hold back for my comments. Uh, well, most women are about as interesting as a pile of fucking shit. All right. And they believe if you ain't doing like if you won't have a party life that's <laughs> that's what's interesting wearing name brand clothing and part and going to parties like apparently and, and traveling too i guess that's another one protectiveness oh the thug guy all right any woman that tells you she wants you to protect her that's a wicked ass woman all right that's a wicked fucking woman what the fuck does she need protection from all right that's a red flag she wants protection the fuck you want her from? What the hell you run her from? Acceptance. I thought, I thought she was married to Jesus. Acceptance. Oh, so basically you a whore. Basically, you want you to accept your or uh, your past. All right. Assertiveness. Confident and forceful behavior. I guess that's up in the air. Some they might some some women might not agree with that with uh, Alexis Jones. Alright, uh, so there you go. So so all this shit that we I just read, alright, the most of it anyway is gonna be totally just thrown out the window. Alright. Whatever they think these ten things mean, it's gonna change into whatever the hell the man say. Alright. Where we at? Uh four and one. And this proves it here. It says and it and in that day seven women shall take hold of one man saying we would eat our own bread. And where our own apparel will only let us be called by thy name to take away our shame. That's what approach, uh, reproach means. To take away our shame. Right. And that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful and glorious. And the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely of them that are escaped of Israel. Which means saved. Let me look it up. All right. So these women are not going to be delivered saved by an elect man of Israel guaranteed All right. only let us be called by thy name to take away our approach and what's the day the day of martial law out of the frying pan and into the flame alright all how the elders and apostles describe it all hell breaking loose food cut off cities cut off roads cut off then they provide a solution to implant. All right. And that don't mean you're going to even get one. Because you could be in straits before that even you even get the opportunity. All right. This lesson is for uh, women that got their shit together and for women that don't got their shit together. All right. And that day shall branch. With, there we go. It's Isaiah 13, 12. And I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Even a man... Than the golden wedge of Ophir. Uh, we're gonna look up precious, because the men are precious, like the elders and apostles were saying. You are like the script they get it from the scriptures, because Yahweh Shai, His Holy Spirit is dwelling with the men, and, they, and we are the ones Yahweh Shai rides that are going to inherit that power, that protection of the might of the angels, like Judah was protected, Maccabees, right? Like the our ancestors were protected coming out of Egypt. All right, that's the angels that can, that's going to be around the men of Israel. And if you ain't wit, man or woman, if you're not wit, an elect uh, brother, 
you are going to be taken by Esau's devices. All right. If you don't learn, if you don't get that that protection, all right, it first starts with learning. Once once you learn, that's the gateway to getting that protection. All right, you build up from there. Prize value. Who's the prize? The man is the prize. Costly. All right, because the elect Yahweh Shai we are few in number. It's only a few of us, in relative to the whole nation of Israel. All right, be precious, highly valued. Oh yeah, high, definitely highly, highly valued. I mean, that's going to be uh, seeing an Israelite man in that day. It's like uh, what it says, "Great Rock in a Weary Land." Uh, that's a great Rock. Chases, and it should be the chase show. Let me look. It's a shadow. Rock might be right in the same chapter. Oh, 32. Oh, uh, and a man, Isaiah 32 and 2, and a man shall be a hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest, as rivers of water in a dry place. It's famines, the heat. Right? Fast for two days, can see how you feel. That, that's how these women gonna feel. That's how a lot of these men gonna feel. All right. If you don't have a hedge about you, you will you finished. Because remember, the, the the new system is not just about the um, imp, the implant, the beast mark. It's about killing off of, of billions of people. You know, how is that going to happen? <laughs> cutting off cities, cutting off resources, and allowing you to starve to death. That's one. That's one thing. Or giving you food that kills you. And we'll see. Let's see. We'll see how, how it happened. All right. And a man shall be a hiding place from the wind And a covert from the tempest A cover from the storm The Lord could cause a terrible storm Cause a chariot to come down That cause you know a, a disturbance a, a drop of raisin in a barometric pressure And it cause a storm to happen And destroy homes Destroy cars Shelters Alright And who if you with One of those elect Israelites had a power to calm that storm or for us to be how shot rogers uh, to be in a, a, a some sort of a vortex or a shield to be blocked from that storm while everybody else is affected and that, that's just possible things that can happen a covert from the tempest right? as rivers of and uh, as rivers of water in a dry place right? use your imagination as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land all right so we went through all those good things. I believe these are all my scriptures. Alright. And I just want to play this audio clip. Now I can't play the actual uh, clip because they're probably not gonna let me use it, the uh the visual, but hopefully I can use the audio. Alright, so movie Babylon A D. It's a lot of some years ago. It's, it's a pretty decent movie. Uh, Post-apocalyptic type movie. Vin Diesel, Vin Diesel is, ex, is exiled from America. And he's uh, in Russia. And he has to come back to America. To get this damn Edomite back into America. Alright. And uh, it's called Babylon AD. And this is a scene where he first meets the, uh, I believe, Lucy Liu. And this uh, chick, I believe she played in Minority Report. She's one of them pale-faced demons that was in the damn tanks. If I'm not mistaken. In Minority Report. Um, and uh, this is the first meeting And this is her demands Versus what's actually going to happen Alright Good morning you must be Turo. I am Sister Rebecca. I just want to bring three simple rules to your attention before we start our journey. We? I'm here to pick up one girl. Wherever she goes, I go. That is rule number one. Rule number two, the less contact she has with the outside world, the better. 
you're here to protect her from outside influences. That includes seeing, hearing, and feeling. Now, it's a harsh world out there, sister. I know. That is why we live in here. Oh, shit. Okay, what's your third rule? No foul language. Do we have an agreement? You listen to my one and only rule. Don't fuck with me. Or I'll leave you standing in the middle of nowhere with nothing but your ass to sell to get back here. Your perfect world. Do we have an agreement? Obviously, you are not a gentleman. Obviously not. All right, so I'll play it one more time before we go out. Uh, so it's, I probably named the video 10 of the most important qualities women look for in a guy. I'll name it that, and I'll put this as a thumbnail. Hopefully I can use it. All right. Um, uh, chemistry, oh, you know, I got to kind of like them. I got to, you know, they're continuity their vulnerability and what you know that you can cry in front of her i guess stability you know you gotta have money a car house benefits just equality let me just skip past that one awareness you know be be aware that you know she she uh, things you say words mean things things like that you know don't yell too loud uh, emotional presence, curiosity, protectiveness, acceptance, and assertiveness. All right. So, all that shit, all right, is going to be in that day. Whatever, the, whatever the, what a man say, that's what's going to go down. Not whatever she say. Uh, but you can have your fun now. I know it's fun. Don't worry. Every single one of you, <laughs> the Lord marked. And you won't get help. You won't get protection. You won't get food. All right. You'll have the swole guy, the thug, the thug guy. I guess the uh, the the accountant, the investment banker, uh, protecting you. The, the lawyer, the athlete, entertainer. He'll, he'll be protecting you until you meet the, the butt of the M16 rifle. All right. Um, I'll read this last uh, scripture again. It says. Um, the return of Yahweh Shai, Luke 21 and 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Let's look up for looking after those things. We got Prodokia, Prostokia expectation whether good or evil you don't know yeah you don't want to know your next meal coming you don't know if death's coming around the corner you don't know if they're gonna come and rob you don't worry you can get the protection he has to be taller than you you know i'm five ten so but she's five eight so she's six feet with heels so five five ten ain't good enough because she's she's six foot with heels she's five eight <laughs> But yeah, you, know, you gotta be you, know, you gotta be over six feet to be uh to date her apparently. Uh, no, to whom it may apply. Uh, where are we at? Right there. Right. Hearts failing them for fear. Aposuko. Breathe out. Bre to breathe out life. You know, people are going to have heart attacks ex to expire. All right. Now that means to breathe out and to die. To faint or swoon, swoon away. Faint from extreme emotion. All right. So that's going to be the, the fate of these men. All right. They don't want to. Go out there and teach. Just want to live a life of pleasure. Well, the scriptures say that she she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. All right. So I hope you take heed to this warning. 
It's not going to be pretty. You can't get it on your own. You're going to have to have a man of the Lord that's going to have to guide you in the scriptures. The men. So you can't figure it out on your own. Right? And for you women, you're going to have to have a man of the Lord to guide you in damn near everything. Because right? you're the weaker vessel. All right, so hope you had a fight. It's going to go out with the with the clip. Shalom. Good morning. You must be Turo. I am Sister Rebecca. I just want to bring three simple rules to your attention before we start our journey. We? Oui? I'm here to pick up one girl. Wherever she goes, I go. That is rule number one. Rule number two, the less contact she has with the outside world, the better. You're here to protect her from outside influences. That includes seeing, hearing, and feeling. Now, it's a harsh world out there, sister. I know. That is why we live in here. Okay, what's your third rule? No foul language. Do we have an agreement? You listen to my one and only rule. Don't fuck with me. Or I'll leave you standing in the middle of nowhere with nothing but your ass to sell to get back here. Your perfect world. Do we have an agreement? Obviously, you are not a gentleman. Obviously not. 